Hi, welcome to This Is My Architecture. My name is Andrea, and I'm here with Mark from CM Group. Hi, Mark, welcome to the show. Hi, glad to be here. What does CM Group do? CM Group is a family of email marketing brands that allow businesses and nonprofits the world over to send email campaigns to their customers or constituents. Wonderful. So today we're going to talk about email delivery subsystem. What is that? It's the part of our application that allows customers to send the messages and for us to re be able to report back to them the status of those messages, whether they were delivered or bounced. I see. So we all send emails, right? So what does this architecture bring? Uh, this architecture allows us to send billions of messages a, a year. Uh, at peak, we're doing probably 8 to 10 million messages an hour. Wow. And we need a high scalability for that. Wow. That's billions sounds like a lot. And I know email systems can be tricky. Um, let's dive straight to it. Let's figure out sort of where does this uh, originate? Sure. Uh, the email campaigns originate from an application that customers are using. It's just a SaaS-based application. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll go in, they'll create the campaign that they want to send, they'll uh, specify the list of recipients that it should be sent to, and metadata that should go with that campaign to, for the mail merge process, like first name, last name, okay. uh, any other specific data that they're interested in sending in as, as part of that campaign. Wonderful. So you have different campaigns. Say, for example, you have a handful of campaigns. What happens in this architecture? I see a bunch of AWS services. Yep. It's running on AWS. Yep. Uh, walk us through the workflow. Sure. When when uh, customers in our application send a message, uh, we do two things at that point. We uh, take the list of recipients mm -hmm. that they're sending to. Mm -hmm. We grab data out of S uh, out of uh, Aurora Postgres create a CSV file of the email address, metadata okay. about the uh, first name, last name, create a CSV and push that into S3. We then queue a job in our uh, remote data center okay. region mm -hmm. uh, to actually process that job. And that goes into a custom queue in ElastiCache Redis. I see. Now, there are different campaigns. Uh, would you be storing that all in one CSV or multiple? Sure. Each CSV is specific to a very uh, a single customer and a single campaign. Uh, so we'll have several of these being generated in any, any given time. Gotcha. Right, as customers use your application in parallel. Gotcha. What does this line represent here? Is it different accounts, regions? Different accounts in different regions, actually. Our main account is hosts the application and the, the microservices that make up that application. Okay. But the sending infrastructure is containerized so that it can be uh, in multiple regions. Okay. Uh, we can take this architecture that we've built and distribute it to as many regions as we want. I see. Like a cell. So, so using Elastic Cache for a queuing system, why not SQS? Yeah, yeah this is a legacy uh, fact. Uh, we, a long time ago, we built our own uh, job queue system. Okay. Uh, our intent is to change that to uh, SQS and use okay. SQS instead. So once you have submitted a job, what happens next? What are you doing with that email? Sure. Once we have a job in queue in ElastiCache Redis, we have a fleet of EC2 instances that mm -hmm. are behind an auto-scaling group that okay. pick up those jobs. They also grab the file from S3, and they do a mail merge. They merge with a template they've retrieved from Aurora Postgres. Okay. So this is, again, just a simple mail merge, first name, last name based on tags. Yeah. Uh, they'll then communicate via a network load balancer to our fleet of sending boxes, MTAs, okay. mail transfer agents. Uh, these are behind BYOP or BYOIP. Okay, so that's BYOIP. Bring your own IP, Correct. I suspect you're This is one of the core it. features that allowed us to move okay. in because as an email sender, uh, the reputation of your mm. sending IPs is critical. Uh, and so we wanted to be able to maintain that reputation on our own IPs and have them portable between regions without having to go with uh, specific uh, uh, AWS IPs. Okay, so you have an email merger, email delivery system on EC2s. Yep. Uh, auto scaling, I suspect? Not auto scaling, but we can scale them out on demand. Okay, so why did you use e fleet of EC2s and not say, container service or lambdas. Sure. Delivering a, an email stream is a very critical mm -hmm. component of our, yeah. our service, right? And we need to have uh, extreme reliability in doing that. We need to make sure that recipients receive an email okay. once and only once. Uh, we would tend to use spot instances in our fleets, but because we uh, don't want that interruption in the mail stream yeah. for reliability and performance, we stick with uh, uh, Reserved instances. Wonderful. Now, how do you ensure that that delivery was successful? Sure. The MTA, when it delivers to the internet recipient out mm -hmm. here in the cloud, 
creates a log entry okay. uh, in its own files. Okay. We have Amazon Kinesis Agent here that sends it to Firehose, uh, whether it was delivered or balanced, and any yeah. metadata about uh, that we receive from the remote server about why. And then that gets back over to our main account here for processing storage in Aurora and then back up to our customers. Oh, this is fantastic. This is you know handling billions of different emails from the campaigns to successful delivery, and you're tracking sort of how this is progressing through yep. the chain. Thank you so much for walking us through this architecture. You're welcome. And thank you for watching. This is my architecture.